Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video I want to go over some mobile gaming controllers and some great mobile games and services such as Google Stadia, GeForce Now and xCloud to use with these controllers and how you can use these controllers as a Wi-Fi controller for Google Stadia. So without wasting any time, let's dive straight in. So first up, we'll start with the Razer Kishi. Now the Razer Kishi is available for both Android and iOS and can be found on Amazon between 50 to 99 pounds here in the UK. And some deals are coming with one month's worth of Game Pass Ultimate. Now the Razer Kishi is very simple to use. Just unclip the back of the controller and clip in your chosen device and there you go. You can now use compatible games and services like Stadia and games like Call of Duty Mobile and Apex Legends to name a few. Now if you are an Xbox user this controller will feel very familiar as the analog sticks and buttons feel very reminiscent of an Xbox controller and not to mention that there is also an Xbox variant of this controller available as well. Now from my understanding the only difference is that it's just got an Xbox logo instead of the usual home button you would find on a normal USB-C or Lightning version of the controller. But overall the Razer Kishi is a very well built mobile controller and if you can get this one on sale I would definitely pick this one up. So moving on we have the Backbone One. Now unlike the Razer Kishi this is only available for iPhones. But for you Android users, don't worry as there is one set to be coming with a USB-C port. Now the Backbone one is priced at $99 or pounds over here in the UK. Now for some of you that may seem a little steep, but the Backbone one is more than just a mobile controller. As with the Backbone one, you can use this as a wire controller to your PC, laptop, iPad and even Android tablets. This allows you to be able to play many mobile games and use cloud gaming services like Stadia, xCloud and even GeForce Now just using one controller. And I've got to say with my experience it works flawlessly and I use it all the time as my primary controller for using on my iPhone and on my Mac as these are the places I play the most. Now also with the Backbone One comes a really great app that gives you that Nintendo Switch feeling that shows you your library of games that you have on your device and shows you all the games that are compatible with the MiFi standard. Not only that, there is a capture button that you can press to capture and edit your videos and then go onto the Backbone app and share it with other people in the Backbone community. There are many other features such as game rooms where you can team up with other players for games such as Call of Duty and Apex Legends. Now my overall thoughts on the Backbone One is that if it came in white and had all the logos removed, I would believe that this was made by Apple themselves, as the Backbone One along with its software just oozes quality. Now when you buy the Backbone One you can claim free trials to Stadia, xCloud which I think really does add extra value to the purchase. And there are some amazing games to play with these controllers such as Apex Legends Mobile, Rocket League Sideswipe, Call of Duty Mobile, Among Us, Genshin Impact, Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier, Grid Auto Sport, and many games from Apple Arcade and the list goes on. And there is the recently released Diablo Immortal. Now for recently from my understanding this game has received a lot of hate. Now I have never played a Diablo game before so I cannot compare to other Diablo games. But from what I have played, I am definitely impressed with the game overall. It runs really smooth, graphics look impressive, and I've got to say I am impressed with what I am playing. And let's not forget our cloud gaming offerings such as Stadia, xCloud, GeForce Now, and these all work with these controllers perfectly. Now if you haven't got the Backbone One, you can head over to their website to see what games are compatible with these controllers. Now this is the part that makes these controllers that much more impressive, as you can turn them into Wi-Fi controllers for Google Stadia, to use on the Chromecast Ultra and the Chromecast with Google TV. And you can do this by docking your phone into the controller, and then opening up the official Stadia app on both Android and iPhone, but bearing in mind it won't work with the web app version on iPhone. Then tap on controller and then tap on the touch gamepad option. And once you have done that, connect the controller like you would the Stadia controller. And once you've done that, you are all good to go. So that is it for the video today, guys. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button as it does help the channel out. 
Links for the Backbone one and Razor Kishi can be found in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next one.